Well, welcome back into the studio. I'm so excited to share this project with you. Um, I had to keep quiet about it because it was going to be in the art journaling magazine, so I finally get to talk about it. So this one was very much created under a specific theme, <clears throat> which was just a bit different than what I normally do. I was very minimalistic in this. Um, and tried to let the imagery kind of speak for itself. It is based off of the music of Linda Lewis um, from her album, Lark. And you can read the whole blog post and there is a link um, over in the description box or down in the description box. There's also there you can hear her music. I have, um, a playlist from that album there's a link in down below so anyways I had already had this pre gessoed um, and the tabs established or at least put into place because I wanted to be able to integrate them into the design of each page so I wanted to put them on before I worked on the pages so I came in with some very angular text and everything is in that really antique -y kind of off-white color and then I came in with some tea or coffee stained handwritten text that I ripped so that's really organic feeling and then I have ripped up some wood colored or patterned paper that was very glossy, very dark, and I've ripped that up and I'm getting that place down um, with my gel medium. That paper is a little bit heavier, um, so it was a little tricky to get down. And most of the pages throughout this are very similar in these features. Um, along with some embellishments that I will add here as well. And that kind of runs similar throughout the entire journal as we go through each layout. You'll see that kind of come together. Now these are whole reinforcers that I have tea stained that I'm putting down right now and these kind of run through um, similar for all the layouts but what doesn't is the images I used and how I used them so this is Linda Lewis and it is an image from her album from the Lark album and I do a transfer onto some deli paper. So I'm just showing you the initial first stages of doing that transfer. And then here is after it's been done and I'm laying that down onto the page, adhering it to the page um, before I start doing any real background, additional background, any color work or anything. Now I am going over this with my gel medium, getting it secured. I'm also doing that because I am going to be reworking this photo. And um, so I want to have that kind of sealed in before I begin to do anything additional there. And you can see the where I didn't get all the paper down. Um, but that's okay because I am going to go in back in and paint on this. And I am going to be painting with the dis distress, 
oxide sprays. Um, yes, they do move and uh, I do realize that and I do end up sealing these. Um, but that is what I chose to use. So I'm coming in with a very fine um, Princeton Select brush. To be honest with you, I can't remember which one this was. Um, but um, I use that and I'm going to be altering the original image and making it my own. One of the things I really love about this image and having done it onto the deli paper, it's very translucent. So you can really see the text paper below and above come through. Now while I'm letting that image really dry very well, I'm coming in and doing some finger painting with some white gesso and just blurring the edge lines of that uh, image transfer with the background. Also doing that a little bit with the text areas and the other elements I have put down. Integrating even where the tabs are, or integrating the tab binding into the background as well. Really for this project, I had a really specific look. It was really based off of how Linda Lewis's music made me feel as a kid. And um, she is a very small individual, she is, but she's a powerhouse vocally and um, very soulful. And I really wanted to portray some of that, maybe even a little bit of contrast with that. Um, the softness with some really stark edges and stark colors. Um, you know, in contrast to the softness, it really says a lot about who she is. Um, and so I really wanted that to, to really come through on these pages throughout. She's very diverse, um, musician. And so I did want, um, that to come through as well. So I really changed up how I handled each of her images. I also um, wanted to portray some of her femininity, so I have these floral rosette pieces that I added, which are up at the top there, along with these buttons that I uh, used some color with. So basically, I stuck with pretty much the same color palette for this entire project. So mostly I'm using yellow ochre, Naples yellow, Titan buff, the uh, walnut stains and a ground espresso as well as the white gesso. So that pretty much runs through the entire uh, project.
go in with a brown Sibilo all pencil that I've dipped in water to do some shading in specific areas. switched over to the black Stabilo All and I'm just doing some shading on her face to make some of her features pop a little bit so you can see them better from that transfer. on all the pages is some of the lyrics from her music but I always use a different from lyrics from a different song so now I'm putting together the layers that I'm going to use as the backdrop to the lyrics so I'm just adhering some of this lace down on a piece of paper bag crinkled paper bag and I'm using the Fabri-Tac to put the fabric pieces down. Bulletproof, look at you, what happened? 